with some developing news tonight. It has been a violent day in New Haven. Two people are dead. Another person hurt in two separate shootings. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Sinney. And good evening. I'm Erin Connolly. One scene is unfolding on Grand Avenue near Poplar Street. The other across the river on Russell Street. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us live from the New Haven Police Department with the latest. Patricia. Yeah, well, it has been a turbulent 24 hours here in the Elm City. Now, we want to note that these two incidents are not related to each other, but they are indicative of the level of violence in the city. The latest statistics is that there have been, so far this year, at least 70 assaults with a firearm and at least 22 murders. Now, we'll show you video shot earlier from this morning. The first incident a tragic scene on the 700 block of Russell Street in New Haven. This morning at around 8 a.m., police responding to a home there and finding a 52-year-old woman and a 62-year-old man suffering from gunshot wounds. While medical personnel attempted to render aid, both victims were pronounced dead. Police say a firearm was found at the scene. They're now gathering evidence, interviewing witnesses, and searching for any surveillance footage. It's not clear if this was a domestic violence incident, but police do say it was an isolated incident. Now, you were talking about the uh, breaking news here uh, this evening. At 7.30 this evening, police responding to a shot spotter on Poplar Street near Grand Avenue, and they found a gunshot victim there. That person rushed to the hospital. It's not yet known the severity of that person's injuries. Now, police are searching for clues in that incident. As soon as we have have more information on both of these shooting incidents. We, of course, will bring it to you on air and online. Live in New Haven, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Tonight, also